lost children in need all over the world. My brother, sister, and I all wanted to show you how easy it is to do it. Let's begin! The first thing you need to do to get started is to make the shoe boxes. My brother and sister helped me do it yesterday. Here's a look back at all the fun work. <laughs> thing that you have to do is gather together all the items that you're going to put in your shoe boxes. Then you're going to have to choose if you want it to be for a girl or a boy. Then you're going to have to decide if you want it to be for ages 2 to 4, 5 to 9, or 10 to 14. Let's get going! I'm back! We have brought out everything that we will need to put the shoe boxes together. I've also decided to make a shoe box for a little girl who is between two and four years old. Here are some of the stuff that I put in my shoe box. First, I got her these soft, fluffy, cozy slippers for her itty bitty tiny feet. Then, I got her these cute stuffed animals for her to snuggle with. I also got her some fruit snacks and a candy cane. I also got her a toothbrush because it's very, very important to brush your teeth after you have a sugary snack. I also got her an activity pad and a maze. And remember, whenever you put these in a shoebox, to either include a pencil or some crayons. I also got her some clips for beautiful hair. And, and I found it Disney card game. And last but not least, I got her these Doc McSteppins toys. Doc McSteppins is my favorite character, and I hope she feels the same way. Over to you, Brett. Thanks, Peyton. I have decided to make a box for a little boy who is between two and four years old. In my box, I have included a Finding Dory memory game, a Lightning McQueen toy car, of course. A notebook and a pencil, a candy cane, and some fruit snacks, and like Kane said, a toothbrush is very important. I have also included an awesome yo-yo, an Uno game, because who doesn't love Uno, and some Paw Patrol slippers for his awesome feet. Back to you, Peyton. Thanks, Brad. We are almost done. This is our final step. We have to put the labels on. First, you have to check if it's a boy or a girl. Then, it is going to be for a 2 to 4 year old, 5 to 9 year old, or a 10 to 14 year old. Then, you're going to stick it on the box, and it's ready to be mailed. We're all packed up and ready to go. I hope we were able to show you how easy it is to make shoebox gifts and bless children in need all over the world. We're just hoping to make a difference one family at a time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Peyton Hart. And check out my website at PeytonHart.com. See you later. <laughs>